Welcome back, my friends. It is 10 a.m. on May 3rd, 2021, and we got a bunch of weather stuff to talk about, including the next couple days going to be a very severe situation going on the east central part of the country. People like to have their own names for what they call this part of the country right here. We got Mimo the Elf, Minnesota, Iowa, Missouri, Arkansas, Louisiana. We actually have a current tornado warning going on right now in Georgia at the making of this video, and we are at 10.31 a.m. right now, so... That is Douglas and Fulton County in Georgia. We are also going to be talking about the Atlantic Ocean briefly. We need to take a look at the west coast of Africa. Take a look at this. Our first little blip. The first sign that the Atlantic Ocean and hurricane season may just be coming alive. We see this one little plot right here. This does not mean it will be anything. It could be a depression. It may turn into one of those groupings of storms that we see that then turn into tropical depressions and then in turn a tropical storm and then Category 1 hurricanes, but with 12 days to go before the official forecast begin getting released, it's just interesting to see this right here. And basically, if you follow hurricanes in any sort of way, this certainly is a big deal as we are approaching that time of year for the Pacific part of the Caribbean and the Atlantic part as well. All right, and now that we got that out of the way, we're going to focus more on the Gulf states and the center part of the country, like we said, Mimo the Elf and the tornado and severe weather threat we have today. We have the top part of this chart right here, kind of shows what's going on. We're going to go over to this enhanced probability area of tornadoes and severe weather today. We'll jump right back to that chart in a second. We could see yesterday was a busy day. All these tornado reports down near Mississippi, Louisiana, Arkansas, and then up into the Tennessee area. And that was just part of it, obviously. So this website here is hailreports.com. You can set this for the past three days, go back to yesterday, and you can set it specifically for today. As you can see, nothing going on yet today except for one unknown wind report here. We're going to see a lot of those popping up, and we're going to start seeing these areas light up this afternoon and this evening. That's why we're not seeing much on the charts right now. This stuff is about to form as we're talking. So I just want to keep that at the forefront of the information when people come to this chart and they don't see anything going on and then assume nothing's going to happen today, but we need to understand this is all going to take place this afternoon over the next few hours into this evening. So once again, yesterday was a big day as we clicked the yesterday button. We had all these tornadoes down here. We had all the crazy winds and hail in Nebraska, Kansas, and Colorado. And now today, you can almost take that same setup and just move it more to the east. We're going to have the two separate areas to really watch. Obviously, we have our tornado alley strip right here that covers six different states. And then we got Alabama, Georgia, and South Carolina in this other warning area. So we're going to have some of this flow coming up from the Gulf that's more than likely going to be the cause of the southeast situation. And then this flow that we've already been dealing with that was kind of sitting over Colorado. The heavy winds we were seeing yesterday and that swoop is now taking place to bring this all the way up just underneath the Great Lakes. Oh, and did I mention that's only just today? Look at tomorrow's forecast. So tomorrow, May 4th, this is day two of our three-day outlook. Take a look at the severe situation in Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama. This one's going to stretch into Tennessee. We're going to see heavy hail, heavy winds in this as well. And then taking a look at the three-day outlook, we can finally see the main part of this kind of breaking off to the East Coast. So we saw three days of this system kind of turning and rolling, putting different areas at risk, and then now it's going to exit off the East Coast. We may be talking about a late week nor'easter as well. Got a little message for you at the end, but I first want to say thank you all so much for watching this video and taking the time out of your day. Please click that like button and the notification bell. Shout out to Canada. Stay safe in this weather. I'll be back with any updates that are needed. Stop right there, my friends. If you have not already, click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell icon. Click all and you will get all notifications from this channel. And trust me, you won't be disappointed.